So it's morning, we're walking the dog. We'll see how far I can go. <laughs> On a beautiful sunny day. So, thought I would, after the walk, we'll give you an update on what's been happening. And it's been a lot. So a lot to update you on since my last update. Uh, as you know, my last update was how depressed I was kind of getting with the COVID situation. And, and uh, while we're still in it, we're still under stay-at-home stay at home orders and Tony's still working from home. At least we've, we're starting to get used to it. Maybe that's what it is. Although I don't think I'll ever get fully used to this. This, and hopefully you don't have to. Hopefully things will uh, start opening up in the next couple months. Not quite as soon as uh, some in politics would like to open up right now. I think that would be uh, a really dumb idea, but that's me. In any case, lots to fill you in on. As I had mentioned before, I was having scans on April 9th, and I did have those scans. And unfortunately, the trial that I was on is not working. There was growth in tumors, new tumors. There was some shrinkage on a couple tumors, but most of them seem to be growing. And I'm getting new tumors. I just found a new tumor here on my neck. Uh, well, it's underneath. I, you can't really see anything there, but uh, there's a tumor or something, some kind of growth. Uh, right there and um, so uh, that's where we are with the trial I actually I think I'm the first person to be pulled out of the trial uh, because of growth I certainly hope and wish that the trial shows success for the rest of the people that are in it I want to reiterate everyone everyone reacts differently to chemos and um, that I'm no different. So what happens to me with all the chemos I've been on should not be used as a basis uh, for what might happen to you if you're gonna start a particular chemo or trial. Everyone re reacts differently. I have a very, very aggressive set of tumors. And that's what's holding me back. Not everyone has the same aggression and some people have very aggressive tumors that respond very well to uh, different chemos. I'm just the unlucky one right now uh, to have that happen. So where do we go from here? Uh, we are going to, we're in the process of trying to get insurance approval right now for a uh, immunotherapy treatment. And uh, we are hoping that this immunotherapy will uh, do the trick and be the one. Now, uh, there is a couple of side effects that come with it. Luckily, it's not the standard nausea, whatever. This, the couple of side effects, some can be very serious. Uh, hopefully we won't get to that point. Uh, those are, uh, I think I was told 10% of the people who are on it might get uh, the serious side effect, which happens to be swelling uh, pretty much anywhere in the body from your brain on down to your knees. So hopefully that won't happen. Hopefully I will respond really well to this immunotherapy treatment. And right now we're just waiting on insurance, of course, to uh, get that done, uh, to get it approved. Hopefully there won't be any snags with that, um, and, and we'll see. Shortness of breath, uh, we have kind of ruled out. I don't know if you saw that I had an, kind of an emergency CT scan uh, uh, last week, and that was because uh, to rule out uh, pulmonary embolism. Uh, which can cause shortness of breath. I have a lot of shortness of breath. I cannot walk very far without being winded and out of breath. Uh, so what 
uh, we are thinking now is that this is actually just the cancer, the tumors, uh, which apparently when they change and grow, uh, can actually suck the energy out of you. Um, so uh, that's what we're thinking is going on now, is that it's the tumors that are uh, taking the energy away uh, from me. However, uh, there are some good days. Today was a really, well, I won't say a really good day. I actually do have some pain in my abdomen, probably from some tumors. Uh, and, and, you know, we're learning to live with and deal with those. But the weather has been fantastic. You saw that we took the dog for a walk. I was able to make the entire walk. Uh, I was extremely tired at the end, but uh, glad that we got to get out on a nice sunny morning and go for a walk. That's the first time I've been out uh, in several weeks. The other thing that I did today, uh, because it actually got up to about 60 degrees, it's 62 right now. Uh, it's because it's been so nice and still sunny, and I know the weather's going to change. It's going to get colder here again, uh, probably tomorrow, that uh, we needed to get the lawn mowed. So I was able to get on the tractor and mow the lawn today, and it did so much for me. Even though uh, I was not feeling perfect, not feeling great, I certainly don't get winded just sitting on the tractor and I was able to, to complete the entire job. Tony will do the edging with the push mower. He gets the hard job, but uh, was able to get the, the lawn mowed. And the other thing it did was I actually got to forget about both COVID and my disease for just, even if it was for just a you know, few minutes at a time as I was mowing. Uh, it, it allowed me to feel like I'm useful. I can still do things. I haven't been able to do much around the house. And uh, this was something I could do and, and it felt good. But just being outside and mowing the lawn brought a little bit of normalcy to uh, what's been a chaotic couple months with this uh, stay at home orders and, and all that. So if you can get out there and do something, I highly recommend it, especially if the weather's nice like it is today. And uh, get out there and do it. It might help you feel like you're doing something a little bit normal, like life is, is uh, not as strange as it is. In any case, as always, I hope you all are doing well. And as always, Thank you for watching.